by a show of hands, who remembers Doodle Jump? Now who thought its graphics needed to be improved? Introducing the live action Lion King of Doodle Jump, Scribble Jump. I also wanted to challenge myself by trying to make this game in only two days, and then I waited, um, how, how long has it been since the last video? Ooh. First I created the basic mechanics. There's the movement, you can hold left and right to move. There's the one-way platform. It's a trigger where if your velocity in the Y direction is negative when you hit it, it'll apply an upwards force. And then I procedurally generated the platforms. So onto the graphics. First I needed a player model. Now I could just model this myself, but I found this one online and I'm not trying to recreate the wheel here, so um... Next I created the platform model in Blender, and then I added an effect to make it a little bit more visually interesting. Up next I wanted to improve the feel of the jetpack, so I added a fire effect. The player has the jetpack on at all times, which is different from the base game. The reason why I did that is because it's been 8 years since I played this game and I forgot how it worked. Next I made the background model. Now this was very easy, I just created one cube, made it look a little bit sci-fi-y, then slapped on an array modifier, and there's background. And up next is probably the most important part of making the game look good, and that is the lighting. In this game I didn't go for anything too fancy. There is the basic sun directional light. I added some emission to a bunch of the materials, and I added metallic materials. Now since everything is procedurally generated, I'm not baking any lights. There are some fancy techniques I could use to make this look a lot better, but I only have two days to make this, and uh, this looks good enough for now. And finally, the post-processing. This is the cheat code to make any game look infinitely better. So step one, we got the visual environment, then I added some volumetric fog, which is a fancy way of saying fog that you can see the light kind of shining through. I added some screen space reflections, added tone mapping, which is one of the most important effects because it just overall changes the color of your game. Asus generally gets the best results I found, but there might be some use cases for the other ones. And then I set the exposure, which is the same term they use on cameras. And just to show what kind of difference this makes, here's what the game looks like without any of these post-processing effects. And here's what it looks like with all of the post-processing effects. That's everything I added for the graphics. If you are interested in downloading the game, it is currently available on my hard drive only. If you want a copy, I can send a USB stick through mail. Now you might be wondering, why even make this game in the first place? 